Well, you better care. I'm calling your parents. Do do for a good grade. Do do for a good grade. Anyway, I made it a deal. <laughs> and then he's like, what? There's musicians up there. Why would there be? Or what did he say? Oh, dang it. Good morning, Winfigley Musical Teachers. Today is the first day of school. I'm super excited and nervous all at the same time. Um, but I'm less nervous because I looked at my class rosters and normally there's either like half the kids I don't know or half of them left just because my school is very transient. I knew about 80% of the kids, so that's super exciting. I just can't wait to continue to teach them music and review what we learned last year, and I'm just super excited. I'm going to go into my classroom now, get settled and stuff, and then I'll see you in a little bit. I don't know if any other music teachers get stressed on the first day of new lessons because, of course, like, you have six different, well, for me, seven different grade levels because I teach pre-K, and then, of course, you sometimes forget a song, or you forget what pitch you're starting, or you forget what's next and all of that, but I'm really stressed, and I have class in one minute, so I'm going to really hope that it goes well. First grade, here we go. All right, first class of the day, done. It was first grade, and there was about 20 kids, and I knew every single one except for one, um, and I actually remembered all of their names. I know some people struggle with names. I don't really. I've always kind of been good at that. They were very impressed that I remembered their names, so I'm glad that I did. But um, it went really well. I unfortunately had only 30 minutes last year for specials, and it was flip-flop between that and PE. So they would come to me from PE sometimes, and they were gross and sweaty, and I absolutely hated that. So this year I have 50 minutes. It's just me. They don't come to me from PE or anything. But I also kind of forgot like how long 50 minutes is compared to 30. Um, but I overplanned for sure. I had like 10 activities and I got through like four, but they also were 15 minutes late. But I mean, it's the first day of school, so I didn't really expect anything less. And she said she kind of forgot they had specials. So it's okay. But now I have an hour of planning and then on to second grade. With a really great idea last night. So I went out and bought book bins and that was stressful, but I'm really sick of having to pass out pencils and papers and notebooks and stuff. And it takes forever. So instead I bought a book bin. And so in it, I have six dry erase boards. Um, I don't have enough markers yet, so the markers aren't in there. Six clipboards or notepads, um, six, a pencil, a pocket of pencils, and then some sharpeners. That way the person that is sitting right here can just grab the book bin, distribute down. It takes like a minute and we're done. So I'm super excited. I'm really sad I wasn't able to get it in the four Hogwarts colors. I'm, I got purple instead of blue, but I'm excited to use it today. Hey y'all, so my Monday is kind of um, really nice in the schedule because it goes first grade planning, second grade planning, kindergarten, lunch, planning, third. So I have a lot of planning today. Now, while it's not necessarily as useful on the first day because I don't have much to plan yet, um, I am using it wisely in other ways and like making PowerPoints and stuff for future things that I want to teach. But second grade just now... I just can't. I've They've been not good since kindergarten, and I've kind of been hoping as they progress, like, they'll get better, but no. And it's unfortunate because this year, um, how my prior of, um, VAM score at the end of the year was evaluated was how the kids did in reading, which I didn't think was fair because I didn't teach them reading. But this year, we're finally doing an assessment, and we're only assessing two grades, second and fourth. And they have to take a pre-test in two weeks and a post-test in May. And I'm kind of worried about second grade, not going to lie, because if that's any indicator of what the rest of the school year is going to be like. Mm. Although I kind of am hesitant about fourth grade, too, because those were my two not best classes last year. So, prayers there better. Good morning. It's day two, Tuesday. I have a bigger schedule today. I think I have first grade and then planning two blocks and then pre-k fifth grade fourth grade and third grade I think so I'm just not going to see kindergarten or second today but I'm feeling good I'm excited to see some more of my children and I'm just hoping that it was as good a day as yesterday was because it really was a good day and I'm just excited to see what we're gonna do so I'll check in with you guys later so first grade went really, really well. Um, there were a really good group of kindergartners last year, so I'm super excited about it. Um, and we're doing some fun stuff with them. 
I've started this year by having all of my grade levels walk into my room either marching or something or a different way um, and they're either marching to a chant that they learned the year prior or I'm using a hand drum and like practicing like for example first grade they're practicing their comparative so fast slow loud soft high low and all that and so I'm doing the chant in different ways and like asking them to tell me how I did it differently um, so that's a good review for last year and um, it's just other than that it's just been a lot of review with rhythms and me singing, making sure they're still matching their head voice and like all of that good stuff. But now I have more planning and then I get to come back to fifth grade, I think. Yeah, I haven't seen my fifth graders yet, so I'm super excited. Although I'm kind of scared because, you know, they always have that fifth grade itis. So we'll see what happens. So I kind of don't like fifth grade and I've never liked fifth grade. And I was kind of hoping that this year would be the year I like fifth grade because it's one of my best years. But they kind of have gotten worse as they've gone on to fourth and fifth. When in third grade, they were my favorite. Um, but not after today. I had one little kid call another a hoe. And then the other one called them lesbian and transgender and all the stuff. And they're going back and forth. Blah, 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 blah. And when I tell them to cut it out or else I'll call your parents, one of them mumbles, I don't care. Well, you better care. I'm calling your parents. I'm making it a point this year to actually call parents when I say I'm going to call parents because I've kind of been terrible at that my first three years of teaching and I feel like I would have a lot more command and respect if I actually called when I said I was going to call. So I'm starting fresh. This is day two and I've already made two parent phone calls and it was between the two kids that I was talking about earlier that were having a fight and I've reached both parents and they both told me that they're going to speak to their kid and I'm hoping that maybe if I actually do all these parent phone calls, it'll actually work. The only reason it's so daunting is because, you know, I have like 400 kids and sometimes you can have like five to six kids ba badly behaving in one day and then you have to call five to six parents every day and it's just... But honestly, I feel like if I just make these calls like consistently for like the next couple of months, maybe these kids will like get it in their brains. They're like, I'm going to call and we'll finally stop backing out. But you know what? Kids just... I don't know. I don't know. Whew, today has been a whirlwind of a day. I just finished with um, faculty meeting. We have it every Tuesday. And it was just, ugh, the faculty meeting was fine. But just the classes beforehand, like fourth grade, I was going to kill and it's only day two. And then third grade is amazing. I absolutely love third grade and I love ending with third grade. The problem is this year, I'm finally getting, like I said, tested on second and fourth. And second grade was eh, fourth grade. So I'm kind of worried what my score is going to be at the end of the year and whether they actually learn anything or not, considering I could hardly get them to be quiet for long enough than, or for more than two minutes. So it's been a long day. This girl's going to go home. Good morning. It is Wednesday and it's been a great day so far on Wednesdays. I don't have a first grade class and I don't, I have my planning. So it goes, I have to be here at 715 and then typically I would have first grade from 8 to 850 because I don't have anybody. And then I have planning from 8.50 to 9.50. So I'm really not starting class until 10 on Wednesdays. I've gotten so much done. I just want to show this cute little thing that I got. So um, there's this brand called 31. Teachers love it because the bags are awesome. Anyway, um, the Tools for Teachers place that's in my county, like the place where you can go and get free supplies for teachers, was doing like a raffle. Like guess how many pencils are in this jar. And I always just guess a random number and figure I'll never win. I think I guessed like 211 or something. Anyway, I won. So they sent me this cute little lunchbox, which I'm really excited about because my lunchbox that my mother-in-law gave me is kind of dying and smelling and just, it needs to be repurposed. And then there's all these pencils. So they filled it full of pencils. Um, so I'm super excited about that. This is like a really awesome thing. I've also just been super productive this morning. I'm making my newsletter for the beginning of the school year along with the art teacher. We're combining ours. I've been cutting out my Mustang dollars to give to the kids. I got my first teachers pay teachers check. So that was super exciting. And I'm just trying to get everything ready for the new school year. I'm getting ready for second. They're coming in like five-ish minutes. So I'm hoping that it's a good day. Second grade was so much better this time. So there might actually be a chance. Do do for a good grade, do do for a good grade. But anyway, now I'm off to edit my iPad uh, because I don't like the way that it looks. They give me a school iPad, which I use iDokio, which I think is going to be my topic for next week on Wednesday Wednesday. I'm still figuring out what I'm gonna do for Folk Friday this Friday. So when I figure that out, I'll let you know. But um, 
I saw Naturally Elementary uh, show from Instagram edit her iPad and like make all these folders and make this cute little like name thing for the front of it. So that's what I'm going to do. So off to my next adventure. Ooh, the end of the day is here at last. Fourth grade, much better than the first fourth grade class. So there is hope for that assessment. And third grade, I just love them so much. Every day, it gets better and better and better. And my dean walked in, and thank God, the class that I had was being good. And we were just playing that jump in, jump out name game. You know, the one where you go like, jump in, jump out, introduce yourself. And they introduce themselves. Kids love that game. But anyway, now I have to cut out all my lamination because I'm making my schedule magnetic so I can change it as the days go on because I have a five-day rotation. And then I have a bunch of papers to grade. Uh, uh, so I sorted three through five into Harry Potter houses by having them take a personality quiz. But I also didn't realize that that meant I had to grade that many Potter quizzes. So that's like four third grade classes, three fourth grade classes, three fifth grade classes of like 20 kids each. So it's taking forever. Why? But I digress. It's okay. We're going to get to work now. Good morning! Today's Thursday and it's already been a pretty busy day. Um, I got to school and today during specials the dean has to give all of the conduct code to every grade level so we have to go in the library for like 20 minutes and it's the first time I'm seeing these kiddos so I wish they could be with me but it's okay. We were still having fun and then I got a smart board for use of the, those of you. Oh, I got a smart board that this year. And I have no idea how to use it. So the art teacher signed us up for the smart board training. And so the guy came and showed us like 5 million things. And I have no idea how to do half of the things he showed us how to do. It was super fun. But there was also like a lot going on. So I'm just going to have to experiment and play. Although I think my favorite thing that I learned about is that you can add staff music to it. And like drag and drop notes and stuff. So that's super cool. That's going to be a thing real quick. Um, but yeah, so now I have my rest of my planning period and then I have fifth grade and kindergarten and then lunch and then planning again because there's no fourth grade today and then I end with third which is my favorite so happy Thursday I'll see you in a little bit 24 kids in a kindergarten classroom should never be a thing ever that is way too many five-year-olds. Their retention spans are like, <laughs> like, oh, thank God this year they made paras have to come to kindergarten. Except for this one class, so I'm hoping that this one class, like, they're not crazy. But anyway, even with the para, like, the kids just call out and some of them cry if they're not picked first. And it's just, these are first world problems. But for a five-year-old, it's like the end of the world. Um, but yeah, that's like, shouldn't be a thing. Like, 24 is too freaking much. So I just did a brain dump of all the things I still need to get done. Um, maybe not today. Of course, I'd love to get them done today, but, like, that's not realistic. Like, holy crap. That's just a lot of things. I've crossed one thing off. The one yellow thing is, like, something that's, like, at ASAP. Like, I kind of forgot to start lesson planning for next week, so I need to do that. But, um, teacher life is hitting real hard, especially in the start of the year. At least my classes and stuff are fine. It's just I have so much to do. I'm just kind of stressed. But we're going to get it done. We will. Today is not shaping out to be a good Friday because guess who left her USB at the house that has everything on it? My lesson plans, my budget, my this, my that. My everything is on that lesson plan and today is Friday, my, le my easiest day. I haven't done any of my lesson plans yet or I haven't done my budget for the week. I haven't done anything and I was going to do all of that today and now I can't do any of that today because it's all on the USB. And I don't have anybody to come bring it to me because all my friends are teacher friends and my husband works in Ocala, which is further than me, and already left for work. And now the bell. All right, so just finished lunch. I had second and fifth today. My nose has been running all, all day. I just, I don't know. I guess it's the end of the week with children. I mean, I haven't been with them for three months, so I guess this is what I get. Um... Both of my classes were okay. There was I did have to call the dean on one because he kept kicking my base bars. <sighs> Alas. But anyway, um, I'm working on my lesson plans now. And then I have crap ton of stuff to do. I have flying trapeze later tonight. If you don't know that I um I do circus on the side. So I'm doing flying trapeze teacher training tonight. So that's super fun. 
but I only have fourth grade left and I just, the list just keeps getting bigger and bigger and I need to fix that. Also, the name tag just broke. Happy Friday, y'all. Okay, I just have to share two funny things that one of my fourth graders said because, oh my gosh, this kid just cracks me up. I've had him since, um, first grade now? Yeah. Oh my gosh, he's like this little old sassy black man in a little black kid's body. Like, oh my gosh, he's just so freaking funny and like wise and like, oh my gosh, I just love this kid. But anyway... The day they're taking the Harry Potter test. And in my classroom tour, I saw that I showed that there were composer statues up on my piano. Um, and of course, all the kids always think they're presidents, literally all the time. So, anyway, this one kid was like, Why do you have George Washington up on your piano? And so I was about to say, like, Oh, it's not George Washington. And then the kid beats me to it. And he's like, George Washington? That's music, musician people. He's like, This is the music room. We learn about music class, not president's class. And I just lost it I was freaking dying and then later on they're doing a Harry Potter quiz to be sorted into their Harry Potter test and it was moon or stars and then blah blah blah, blah they started talking about man walking on the moon and then somebody the kid was like they've already walked on the moon nobody walks on a star I'm gonna walk on a star and he writes down star and I just that just, I don't know. I thought that was so funny. He's just so funny. But anyway, my kids, I really like them a lot this year. I'm really excited for them. So this is going to be good. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video about my first week in the music teacher classroom, year four. Anyway, um, if you liked this, please subscribe to my channel down below. And you can also watch my first video, which is my classroom tour of the Harry Potter theme, which is up. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's Whimsically Musical. Facebook is also Whimsically Musical. I don't have a Twitter. Um, but also you can comment down below what you liked or topics that you'd like to see in the future um, or give this one a like if you really liked it but um the next thing that should be posted is whimsical wednesday which is probably going to be on behavior management because that's the first topic that i got and so i hope you all have a great day and i'll see you later